This is the AuthenticWatches.com instruction video for using the Tag Heuer Formula One Quartz Chronograph Date. This particular model does feature a screw down crown, so to set the date and time, you will need to unscrew the crown by turning it counterclockwise until you feel a pop or a click. Now that it has popped out on its own, you will pull the crown out two clicks to the time setting position, known as position 2, 1, 2. And you can advance the hands by turning the crown clockwise, move the hands back by turning the crown counterclockwise. Before setting the date, you will need to make sure you are outside of the time frame of 8 p.m. to 3 a.m. Easy way to do that is to set both hands pointing towards the 6 hour mark. Once both hands are pointing towards the 6 hour mark, you know that it is safe to change the date. I will do so by pushing the crown all the way in, then pulling it out one click to position 1. Then you can change the date by turning the crown clockwise. Now, let's move on to the chronograph feature. To use the chronograph feature on this watch, you will first press the top A button to start. And you will also press the top A button to stop. You will reset by pressing the bottom B button. And all hands, all chronograph hands will reset back to zero. It's important to make sure to stop the chronograph before resetting because if you attempt to reset the chronograph while it is moving, doing so can damage the watch. Another nice feature of this particular design is that you can set the specific chronograph hands to reset at a specific position. And I'll show you what that looks like. First we're going to pull the crown out to the time setting position and we're going to press both A and B buttons simultaneously until we see the longest chronograph second hand sweep around the dial once. Now that it has swept around the dial, I can actually press the top A button to adjust the time at which the chronograph seconds reset. So say I want it to start at the 3 o'clock mark. Once I'm finished adjusting that, I can push the crown in, start screwing it in. Then when I start to use the chronograph feature, I'll st start the chronograph feature once again. It will begin to move and when I stop and reset, it will reset that hand back to the 3 o'clock mark. There we go. Now that can be done with the chronograph seconds, the split seconds, and the minute counter. So let's try doing that with the other hands. First we will unscrew the crown pull it out to the time setting position first we will press the A and B buttons simultaneously until we see that sweep once we've done that we know we can adjust this hand back to the original position now say you wanted to set the other hands, the split second and the minute hand, you'll just press the bottom B button and then it will start adjusting that hand. As you can see the bottom dial is starting to move. And you can leave that wherever you'd like, but in this case I'm just going to reset it back to the 12 hour mark. I'm almost at the 12 hour mark. And then let's do that with the last hand pressing the B button to go into the 30 minute counter and then you press the top A button to adjust. It will only adjust one way by pressing the A button so you'll actually need to press the top A button a number of times to get it back to the 12 hour mark. But you can individually set each dial so if I want to keep this minute counter at that position I can go ahead and screw this back in and then the chronograph minutes will always reset back to that position. So each hand can be set independently from one another. They don't all have to reset at the same position. So watch, if I activate the chronograph feature, it starts moving, I stop it, I reset it, 
all hands moved back to the same position. Well, in, th in that case, it didn't move at all, so it didn't need to be reset. So let's go through that one more time. We'll unscrew the crown, pull it out to the time setting position. Then once in the time setting position, you will press both A and B buttons till you see that sweep. And then I want to go to, not to the split second, not to the second hand, but to the minute counter. So I believe I'm there. Nope, I'm still in the split second dial. So I'll press B one more time. And then I can adjust that last hand back to the 12 hour mark. And I also want to reset that one back to the 12 hour mark. So I will press the B button once. Now I'm in that mode once again and I'll get to the bottom dial. There we go. And then once you get it to your desired mark or position, you can then screw the crown back in and your chronograph will reset to whatever position you'd like. And that is it. That is how to use the Tag Heuer Formula One Quartz Chronograph Date. If you are interested in purchasing this model, or if you have any further questions, please see our website, AuthenticWatches.com, or you can email us at sales at AuthenticWatches.com. Thank you.